Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here with a little update on Love Meg. There are some major issues going on with her paid site, lovemeg.video, and I've heard this from a few people, but I have one individual's account and it's very detailed, so I am going to go ahead and share this. Um, this is really disheartening and disappointing, but unfortunately it's not surprising coming from Meg and Justin. But either way, if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I had heard some people talking about not receiving refunds from Love Meg, still being billed for her lovemeg.video website, and I wasn't surprised. But when I heard this individual's story, it really struck a chord, and to be honest, it pissed me off. And there's been a few things that Love Meg and Justin have done that have really um, made me salty. And I'm sure that most of you guys know the history and where that comes from. But with this, obviously, if there's one thing I can't stand, it is number one, a liar, number two, a cheater, and number three, a scammer. Now, every single thing I am saying in this entire video is alleged. It is speculatory. It is um, just somebody's experience with dealing with Love, Meg, and Justin, so I am not stating anything as fact. Obviously, my entire channel is an opinion-based channel, but when it comes to this, I feel that it's important to elevate this person's story, and if somebody else comes across this video and they're going through the same thing, then maybe it will validate what they're going through so they know that they're not the only one. And the, by the way, this individual does know that I am making a video about this, so it is not me taking her story and using it for content. She is fully well aware, and I have talked to her about making this video that I'm filming right now. So let's start out. She shared with me a little bit of her backstory, which I am not going to include in this video, but she really gravitated towards Love Meg. And she was happy to sign up for the annual membership with lovemeg.video when it was announced. Now, obviously, what lovemeg advertised and what she was producing were not the same thing because she was promising multiple videos per week. And, you know, it was going to be this great thing where she didn't have to work with sponsors and there were no ads on the video and we were uh, supposed to be seeing new content as well as old content, even though most people didn't care about the old content, there was definitely a promise made that there would be a lot of new content coming from Love Meg, all of the excitement, confetti, balloons, get excited. So we're moving on to lovemeg.videos, lovemeg.video, not videos. <laughs> um, we'll have that link down below in the description box so you guys can just click it, head on over there. Um, the incentive for going over there is way more videos. So when we were on the cruise, I have two videos that are done, edited, but they're sponsored. And the sponsors have not gotten back to me yet. So it's been 10 days and I haven't posted a video even though they're done, they're ready. And so that's another thing that I'm kind of tired of. So there will be no ads over there, no sponsors, um, just me being in control of posting when I wanna post. And like I said, there's gonna be way more videos because of that, because I don't have to wait on a brand to tell me what you legally cannot post until these people watch it and approve of what you have said about the product, you know? So that is how I know I'm gonna be able to get up way more videos for you guys. So I'm guaranteeing two videos a week, but it could go, to seven videos a week. I mean, whatever I feel like doing, but I'm guaranteeing two videos a week. So you guys know you will get at least two videos a week over there. Another incentive, which I feel like people are gonna be really excited about is I'm gonna be posting some of my older videos that I turned private a while ago, like maybe a year ago. They're gonna be posted over here on this channel. So if you go over there right now, there's a few of them already up. We watched through them last night. Um, I figured out the ones that I was comfortable posting. I didn't watch through all of them because we're really just, we're just excited about this. We're ready to get it up. So there are some already on there, but sporadically I'll be posting another one and another one. And um, I'm so excited to give those videos back to you guys. And that's just not what she delivered. She ended up not putting up very many new videos. And when she did, they were very short videos. And she decided to put a bunch of her old YouTube videos over there that were showing her kids. And I'll go back to what I always say. If you are that invested in watching somebody ki somebody's kids and you get excited to see old content of them when they were younger, I think you're a weirdo and you should sign offline. She, like a lot of other people, felt that signing up for the year plan was a good deal. 
So she went ahead and did that and that was last August. So keep that in mind because the timeline comes into play from her date of purchase. Essentially, this individual figured out that, you know, after Love, Meg, and Justin kind of being quiet and not being regular uploaders, she ended up finding out through YouTuber headlines that they were planning on, you know, shutting down the um, whole circus and leaving YouTube. What happened next is she realized that, hey, if they are leaving social media, then I should be receiving a refund because I paid for an entire year of access to her paid site and she's deciding to leave the internet. So common sense, which this individual had, would say, okay, they're leaving, I should get a refund and I shouldn't be charged for this anymore because they're not putting any videos up, right? That's not what happened. She not only, uh, didn't get a refund, but she also heard from other people that were paying members that they were still being charged for their monthly plan. So in May, once she realized, hey, other people are going through this, let me go back on the lovemake.video site and see if anyone is replying. Is there any chatter about other people getting refunds? Maybe I'm the only person, what's going on? She went over there and she wasn't able to watch the video anymore. So essentially what they had done is blocked access from anyone who was a paying person, could no longer see the videos, therefore you couldn't see the comments. So she did what anybody would do and she decided to submit an email. And this email from Justin, I'm not sure if it's actually Justin, if it's somebody who works with them and they're using Justin's account, I'm not sure, but it, the response is, hey, we just wanted to take a minute to thank you for your support on lovemake.video. Since our decision to close the channel, we've had a lot of glitches come up in processing the refunds. We are happy to announce that everything is straightened out now. Keep in mind, this was in May. In our review, it appears that you are due a refund of $32. Please let me know what your PayPal email address is so that I can send the refund. Thanks, Justin Hickman representing Love Meg. <clears throat> what a title. So she provided the email that was linked to her PayPal and what happened? Do you think she got a refund? If you guessed that, you are wrong. Justin decided to view her message and ignore it. And based on this person's account and what she has shared with me, she has not received a refund. The reason that I mentioned the purchase being in August earlier in this video and why that matters is because in order to try to get a refund from PayPal, say you want to cut out Justin and Meg because they're not giving you what you are asking for and what you're owed, the problem is, is that you have to file the complaint 180 days. You have a 180 day window from the date of purchase to when you are requesting help from PayPal. And since this person did the annual membership, that date had long passed. So this makes me wonder if Meg and Justin were pushing those annual fees, knowing that, hey, if things crash and burn for us, chances are it'll be way past when most of these people pay for their annual membership. She said, I got an email from you over two weeks ago stating I was getting a refund for $32, but I've not received anything. Justin asked again for the individual email, individual's email address and that he ignored. And again, still no refund and we're, you know, almost midway through June. But I really want to say that this has nothing to do with this person needing $32. This has everything to do with Megan Justin being crooked business owners, misleading people, giving false advertisements, not delivering the product that they promised. And this is not the first time that YouTubers have done this, where they will announce a paywall site and then they don't upload on the pay what on the paywall site. If you open up a YouTube member program, Patreon, a site like this, lovemake.video, and you're promising people content, 
even if something happens, I get it. Okay. You save three videos a week and your life kind of takes over and you're only able to do one. Most people will understand that. What people won't understand is being completely ghosted and continuing to be charged for a service that you are not providing. That is crooked and it's wrong. And I'm so glad that this person felt comfortable enough sharing this story with me because I hope that Meg and Justin see this. I know for a fact they know who I am because they were so quick to block me, you know, ages ago. So scared of my little, you know, opinion commentary channel. So what I want to know from you guys is if by any chance you were a paying customer to let make that video, are you still being charged? Have you received any refunds? And if you feel more comfortable DMing me and giving me a little more backstory, that's okay too. If you don't want to say anything, that's fine too. But this is just not okay. Uh, these influencers, when they do these shady business, you know, little business ventures, they need to be held accountable. Bernie Dawn was just ordered to pay $400,000 for this scam that she was running. And I'm not saying that Meg and Justin are even on the, you know, remote level of what Bernie Dawn was doing, but this still matters. Taking people's money and not giving them what they paid for matters. You know, this is the other thing. I have people ask me, not constantly, but I, I do get a fair amount of inquiries. Hey, why don't you do YouTube member, member uh, open up your memberships. You've been eligible for so long. Go ahead and open them up. Do a Patreon, do, you know, something. The reason that I don't do that is because I want everybody to have open access to my content. Because right now, I am not able to dedicate time to be consistent on YouTube and give extra content that would be worth a fee on a paywall site. And me knowing that I can't do that, I'm not going to do that. And I don't see myself doing that even in the, you know, somewhat distant future. I can't see it because... I just feel bad. I feel bad taking people's money and then not giving them what I promised. And I would much rather just be able to come to my YouTube channel and say, hey guys, I'm behind. I'm going to take a couple days off. Hope you guys understand because here my content is free and you guys have open access to it. You can watch videos from two years ago. You can watch them from two weeks ago. I just want I don't, I don't want people to feel like they have to pay for something special because right now I'm not able to offer something special, if that makes sense. But either way, we'll see if Love and Meg and Justin decide to respond to this. Shady business practices with influencers will get your ass in trouble. So I hope that they um, get on the ball, you know? What a mess. But either way, I think that they are both just awful. That's my opinion. I, I don't think that they are good people and I don't respect them. And I don't have to respect anyone that I come across on social media, especially when they show me who they are. But nevertheless, that's enough ranting for today. So for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.